Like Teddy Gray on stuff, Wushi gives a proper reaction. And now for something completely different. Hey, Outcast gang, we are back again. NF, green lights. Without further ado, please like, comment, subscribe. If you're watching this on the premiere, then please join us in the live chat. Click the live chat button below and talk to me over on this side. Uh, I'll be watching this with you guys. I've watched them all with you. So if you ever want to talk, community's over there. Without further ado, please like, comment, subscribe, Lego. And for those of you that have been waiting in the live premiere, thank you very much. You are always and will always be appreciated here. Yeah. My name buzzing ain't no way you could ignore it. I did not come this far so they could ignore me. I am not the one to say I'll do it in the morning. I'd rather get it done. Don't focus on what's not important. They try to talk. I don't think we've ever heard Nate yet with uh, with high hats before. This is starting to sound like a trap beat. 808's all in the right place. His voice has got a different tone to it. Mm. Uh. Could ignore me. Nothing supportive. So these are like four or five syllable rhyme schemes again. Okay, Nate. I see you. I see you, dog. Yeah. My name buzzing ain't no way you could ignore it. I did not come this far so they could ignore me. I am not the one to say I'll do it in the morning. I'd rather get it done. Don't focus on what's not important. They try to talk to me okay. like they be nothing but supportive. Appreciate the love, but do not show up on my doorstep. If you ain't about that real, I suggest that you avoid me. If we ain't on the same page, that's the end of the story. You are not a baller because your closet's full of Jordans. You are not Ooh. a rich man because you're on. Ooh. That works on both on both ways. You're not a baller because your closet's full of Jordans. Like baller, as in basketball, Jordans, Air Jordan. You know the deal. But baller as in I'm balling, like I've got lots of money. And Jordan's obviously costing a lot of money. You're not a baller just because you've got a closet full of Jordans. Wow. That bar works on two levels. Mwah. The double entendre. We're going all the way back. Shut up. Shut up. Oh. Yeah. My name buzzing ain't no way you could ignore it. I did not come this far so they could ignore me. I am not the one to say I'll do it in the morning. I'd rather get it done. Don't focus on what's not important. They try to talk to me like they be nothing but supportive. Appreciate the love, but do not show up on my doorstep. If you ain't about that real, I suggest that you avoid me. If we ain't on the same page, that's the end of the story. You are not a baller because your closet's full of Jordans. You are not a rich. First I dropped the record, then you know I got it tore it. Real still the slogan, only difference is there's more But the story of my life feels like it's just beginning now I ask you a question, I want answers, not to run around You the one that brought it up, but I'm the one that shut it down If you ain't got that album yet, I brought you one, I'm at your house hey, hey. Ooh. All I see is Ooh. All I see is green lights now, when with the, with the whole the, the green lights, I thought it'd be something like quite emotional. So I wasn't expecting this kind of track, and because of that, I'm struggling to understand where he's coming from because I thought I was going to be going into this a lot more empathetic. I'm not. Um, I don't. The only reason I'm not is because I don't feel like this track warrants it. it. Does warrant these though? This is one of those tracks. Hmm. Um, all I see is green lights. Now, green light. In terms of the streets, now, I don't know if he's rapping about that. Like, he's making some sort of metaphor for his life as a juxtaposition from the streets. But when you green light somebody, if somebody's green lit, that means it's okay for you to F them up on sight. That's what green lit means. Um, but green light also meaning go for the, you know, stop lights. All I see is green lights. So nothing's stopping me, maybe. Hmm... I'm still struggling to, because obviously with the um, the subject matter that he's talking about, it kind of, like, not yet, it doesn't correlate with the, the video that's going on. Which is why I thought that, like, in the build-up to this, that the green lights may have been the, the street version. Meaning, like, he's been green lit, maybe by the industry, so people beat on him. Maybe that's what it is, I don't know. <laughs> Do you ever feel like sometimes you have to do stuff like that? I feel like I can talk to uh, NF fans a lot more 
personally than I can with any any other artist or group that I do. I'm very, very close to the fans of uh, Stray Kids because I don't know if you can see these these pictures. I've got so much stuff. I genuinely love that group. So the people that watch that stuff, I have a bond with them. You know, we're a family. But I feel like with the with the NF um, reactions, I could be a lot more personal because I feel like you guys understand a lot more. I feel like there's a lot more of you that can not just understand, but also like not just empathize, but a lot of you guys might have those experiences too. So I feel like I can open up a lot more. Also going through the comments, a lot of you have like said that you, you like it when I open up and you like the fact that I'm able to do this now, having seen that I've, I've struggled to do it in the past. So why am I talking about this? I don't know. Thank you though. Nothing but supportive mm. Appreciate the love but do not show up on my doors yeah. If you ain't about that real I suggest that you avoid me If we ain't on the same page That's the end of story yeah. You are not a baller Cause your closet's full of Jordans You are not a rich man Cause, cause you're, you're on the Forbes list First I dropped the record Then you know I got a tour it. Real still the slogan Only difference is there's more But this story of my life Feels like it's just beginning now I ask you a question I want answers not to run around mm. You the one that brought if you ain't got that album yet, I brought you one, I'm at your house hey, hey, hey. All I see is green lights green light, green light. All I see is green lights green light, green light. All I spit is real life, real life. But you don't know what that's like <laughs> All I see is green lights green light. Another one of these very simple hooks again yeah. All I spit is real life For the shows I don't need yes men around me is basically what he's saying. Oh, wow. And also, to talk about like backstreet, backstreet. Who? Oh, I want it that way. Uh, backseat is actually what my brain meant to come out with. Um, he's talking about backseat drivers, you know, like people, people trying to explain to a driver how to drive or trying to tell a driver where the car should go. Like I'm in control of this vehicle, bro. Why are you telling me where to go? Shut up. You're in the backseat for a reason. I don't need people in the backseat trying to tell me how to drive. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's saying. Yeah. That's light. I know where I'm going. I don't let no one distract me. I don't need directions for nobody in the backseat. Also, I don't need directions from people in the backseat. Like, I don't need, I don't need telling what to do in life by people who aren't on my level now. Like, if you're not doing as well as me in life, how the f why are you giving me advice? Why should I, why should, why would I ever take your advice on board if you're not in a better position than me? Oh, wow. That's so sick. Like, to say the backseat as well, but also the directions. It works like directions as in, a map directions, but also directions in life. And the back seat would be people behind you in life, but also people behind you in the car. Fine, he's done that twice now with the Jordans and now the back seat. Oh God, I wanna fucking punch him. Yeah, that's life. I know where I'm going, I don't let no one distract me. I don't need directions for nobody in the back seat. I don't need these people in my corner trying to gas me. I'd rather have people in my corner trying to check me. Yeah, I walk up the bus a different city than the last. We let the fans be. They gon' tell you about the past me. If I'm being honest, last year I was in a bad place. Wouldn't say I'm out of it, but don't feel like I can't be. Hey, no, clean. Wouldn't say I'm out of it, but don't feel like I can't be. Like, don't think I won't go go absolutely savaging. The thing that I wanted to point out was, if I'm being honest, last year I was in a bad place. Like, he did that to, so that it fit the the syllables. I love it when that when when artists do that. Like, it's supposed to be, if I'm being honest, last year I was in a bad place, but he combined I and was to make I as, as in a bad place, as in a bad place. Like, that is conversationally how he would say it as well, so just to fit that syllable scheme, which tells me that he probably freestyled some of this, because that's, that's too conversation, you know? Ugh.
Let's go, Nate. Let the fans be. They gon' tell you about the past me. If I'm being honest, last year I was in a bad place. Wouldn't say I'm out of it, but don't feel like I can't be. It always makes me laugh when, when, whenever, whenever artists like rappers usually do it because they have a lot more space to fill with them, you know. Always, but well, usually rapping quite fast. But when they go on like a tangent that that you know is obviously false, but they've like they've had to think about that whole thing that hasn't actually happened. Like when he came out of his his mother's womb, he didn't instantly go, "Hey, yo, Doc, I ain't average. Where's the pen and pad?" <laughs> He didn't do that, so he had to make all of that up and make it rhyme. I personally don't see the point in doing that, ever, in writing. Especially not if your slogan is... <laughs> Everything's real. Everything. Everything's real. I hopped... When I was born, I hopped off the table. Just imagine a baby Nate doing that. These are his words, you know, everything's real. But they nasty. <laughs> I'm just taking it literally. I can tell when mama had me. I have to get off the table, told my doctor I ain't average. He asked me, What does that mean? I told him, Get the pen and pad. Imagine a baby saying that. Something that could change. Hilarious. I don't think y'all fully understand the way you change mine. I look at the future that's in front of me with both eyes. Three records, three years. I don't like to waste time. All I see is three records, three years. So if you haven't uh, seen my the the reaction that I put out just before this one, it was an interview that was done just after the Outcast video had been brought out, um, and in it he literally says that he made three albums in three years. So just from watching that one interview, I understand this bar more. I mean, obviously it's it's not difficult to get that bar. He literally says what he means: three records, three years. I don't waste time. Um, but obviously I, I know the whole process that he went through because as well as bringing out these three records, he was also touring during that time. Like, where, where's the free time? Where is the free time? Where's the time for Nate, you know? And you wonder why his mentality was fucked. You wonder why? Because the guy spent three years touring and making music not just making music, by the way. That's what that's like what I do. I make music. Nate doesn't just make music. Like when he when he creates an album, that's not just somebody making music. Anybody can make music. Alright? He's an artist. And on top of that, he's touring as well. And then he's got family shit to probably deal with. And then friends on top of that. And then there's business side of it. There's there's like I'm sure he does like merch and stuff. So there's that side. Oh, you wonder why his mentality's buggered. Bless him. Let's go back to this hilarious uh, tangent though. Records, but they nasty. I was made for this. I could tell when Mama had me. I hopped right off the table, told my doctor I ain't oh, average. He asked me, what does that mean? I told him, get the pen and pad, please. On, I write something that could change lives. I don't think y'all fully understand the way you change mine. I look at the future that's in front of me with both eyes. Three records, three years. I don't like to waste time. Hey. All I see is green, green lights. Green light. yeah. All I see is green lights. Can I just say as well, when I said that stuff, like obviously he's saying all I spit is real life and then you go back to the last verse when he's talking about, you know, the doctor and coming out of the womb and saying get the pen and pad please, like that didn't happen, but he's saying all I spit is real life. When I say that, like I am, I am obviously taking it too literally for comic effect. I'm not actually dogging on Nate. I, as somebody who writes bars, I understand more than anybody, right, how difficult it is to stay on topic when you're writing. Especially if you have a brain like Nate's. It's, it's probably very sporadic and he's got a million and one things going on in his head. Felt like going on a tangent about coming out of his mother's womb and asking the doctor for a pen and pad. 
I'm guessing there's, but I'm guessing there's like a lot of a lot of bars within Nate's writing like that. I think he kind of shot himself in the foot by by saying all I spit is real life and constantly saying the whole thing about real. Because he even said in that interview that one of his inspirations was Eminem, who does a lot of conceptual writing. So I don't know. Because it, it just now feels, because he's saying real life, it feels like whenever he goes on a tangent now, he is taking that inspiration from Eminem as opposed to it being real, as opposed to it being him. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. It's easy to go on a tangent, so I understand. I bet you don't know what that's like. I love how we ended that. Did that say perception? What's what 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 does that mean? What does what did that mean? What what did that mean? What did perception mean? Is that like the next album? Is that the next song? Because all of the songs are in order on the watch later, and I'm pretty sure the next one is is something about. I just want love, or if you want love, something like that, that's the next one. Um, huh. Hmm. Not really sure what to think of that. Also, the video, I didn't really pay that much attention to. My apologies, I was paying more attention to the bars. Um, yeah. Other than the whole, like, real, like, constantly saying about real and everything I spit is, is factual and real. Um, and then spitting something that's conceptual and like non-fiction. Would it be non-fiction? No, fiction. Um, fictional. Why can I not? Every single time I react to a Nate track, cannot speak. Um, yeah, other than that, the juxtaposition between real and then these conceptual fictional stories, like tangents that he goes on. Other than that, the, the track that, that he managed to put together on this beat was something, I don't know, it was different. It was different. But this sounded like more motivation for other people, despite the fact that he was again talking about himself. It still felt more like motivation for other people. Like downtrodden people. Um, I feel like that's gonna be the theme for the rest of the time. Um, part of me believes that that may be because he garnered success from being the quote-unquote underdog and the outcast. But it's the same thing that, that happened with Eminem, you know. You can only say that you're the underdog for so long until you're reaching millions and millions and millions. You're not an underdog anymore, you know what I mean? Um... So I'm hoping that, that by, by the time this new album comes out on April the 7th, that he sort of got there by now, because he definitely should have done, because you can't be an underdog anymore. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Although it's all relative, because he's an underdog compared to somebody like Eminem or somebody who is mainstream. But compared to somebody who's like just starting out as Nate once was, he's definitely not an underdog. He's where they would kill to be, you know? I don't know, it's all relative. It's all a perception. See how everything comes full circle. This is the power of Nate. Um, I'm, I'm genuinely enjoying like breaking down his psyche. Just him as a, as a human, you know? He should be like a case study for psychologists or psychoanalysts or something to that degree, I don't know. Anyway, it's been your boy, Teddy Ground stuff, the next one. Next premiere coming, deuces. Woo.